Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's virtual information session where we will be discussing our newly launched online certificate in football player intermediation. I want to acknowledge everybody that is here. I see some familiar names. So uh, just quickly, hello, Alex, Andres, Dennis, Emerson, Fernando, Georgie, Grecia, Giancarlos, Stefan, Sean, Romeo, Mauricio, Faisal, um, Abdel, Tony, Leroy, Kingsley, Josh, John, and there's a few others that are continuing to join in now as we begin the session tonight. So it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for your time. Um, just to let you know, we will probably last uh, approximately 30 minutes. So we will take 30 minutes of your time to tell you about the course and we will open the floor for questions after because I'm sure that there's uh, some people that will have some questions about the program and about the current state of football player intermediaries. So let me begin by introducing myself. My name is Diego Valdez. I am the director at the Sports Business Institute Barcelona. And what I do is I uh, work as the director leading uh, SBI, providing uh, different programs to those that want to start, advance, or develop further into a career in the football industry. As you can see here on screen, we've worked with a number of football organizations, and these are just a few. Um, and uh, this is uh, something that we're very proud of, that uh, these institutions, these organizations trust us and work with SBI. Now, about the Sports Business Institute, um, we are an institute based in Barcelona. We have a physical office in Barcelona. However, we do a lot of the training, a lot of the courses online. So this means we have a global reach, a global network. Um, so despite having offices in Barcelona where we do from time to time some events, some seminars, some workshops, a lot of what we do is online. Um, and what we do is we specialize in those training programs for those who want to start or advance their career in the business side of football. And before we get into the course uh, today, what I want to know is where you're connecting from because um, we're interested in hearing from you guys. Um, so in the chat box, go ahead and type in um, the country, the city where you're connecting from because this will give us an idea as to what type of audience we have tonight. And it'll also serve for me to know that the sound is working properly on your end. So in the chat box, which you'll see an icon there on the bottom of your screen, just go ahead and type where you're connecting from. And that way, again, I'll know who you are and where you're coming from. So um, Giancarlo, okay. Hello, Giancarlo is from Manchester. We have uh, Kingsley as well, connecting from Nigeria, from Port Harcourt. Okay, Kingsley, welcome. Romeo from Italy. Hi, Romeo, good to see you. Stefan Platt from London. Hi, Stefan. Uh, Josh DeBio, London as well. Dennis uh, from Chile. Nice to see you here, uh, Dennis. Uh, Fernando Fernandes from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Okay, nice to see people from Brazil. Emerson from England. Hi, Emerson. Good to see you here. Georgie. Hi, Georgie. Good to see you, Georgie. Georgie is going to be uh, doing our master's program. So nice to see you, Georgie, from Bulgaria. We have Amos from Nigeria. Leroy from New York. Hi, Leroy. Good to see you. Um, okay, the list goes on. So I'll uh, look at a few more names. Faisal from Riyadh. Nice to see you, Faisal. Josep from Barcelona. Hi, Josep. Tony. Hi, Tony from Newcastle. Uh, Sean. Hey, Sean. Saudi Arabia. Sean, uh, former SBI student as well. Abu Bakari from Ghana. Abu Bakari, nice to see you as well. Okay, good. So as uh, as per usual, we have an audience from all different parts of the world. So um, in true SBI style, we continue to have a very global and an engaged audience tonight. So thanks everybody for um, being here tonight. So why are we here? Well, we're here to introduce our newly launched certificate in football player intermediation. So what is this certificate about? Well, essentially it's for those that want to begin or develop uh, their career as intermediaries or agents, as it was formerly known, the term formerly used by FIFA. And the way we've structured the course, you're going to see it's in a very practical and a very hands-on manner. So we're going to go through that in just a moment. But before that, sometimes um, you know people wonder and they are, they're asking us, well, how come you're launching this program now? <clears throat> and the main reason we decided to launch this 
certificate program now is because things are changing. Some of you may know if uh, some of you in the audience here um, are representing footballers already and are already working as agents, you'll know that FIFA is uh, looking at new reforms. Uh, they're going to implement new reforms that are going to impact the world of representation, the world of the agent. Um, you know, some of you that maybe have kept up with this will know that uh, there's going to be caps on the commissions for agents. Uh, there's also going to be a new licensing system that is going to be introduced. There's restriction on multiple representation. Uh, also, transfer of minors. So a lot of the areas that involve representing football players are going to be changing because the regulations are going to be amended. Um, they were due to be amended, in fact, now, but of course with COVID-19, this has been postponed. But it's not going to be postponed for long because these new regulations are going to come into place. And um, of course, it's important for those that are representing players now or that want to work as agents or intermediaries that they're aware of these new regulations. So this was one of the main reasons why we decided to launch this certificate now, because we saw the demand for those representatives, those agents that wanted to be up to speed with the new regulations and also understand you know, the day-to-day -day workings of agents and representatives of football players. So that's one of the reasons why this program is being launched now. Um, now, what can you expect? What are some of the you know, benefits? What are some of the advantages? And how have we designed this course for you? Well, in any industry, and particularly in football, and especially if you want to work as an agent, one of the things you need to be aware of is how the industry works from the inside. In other words, you need the knowledge. If you don't have the knowledge, you know, it's going to be tough for you to represent football players because, you know, as I said before, you need to be aware of the regulations. You need to know what's happening in the industry today. And you also need to know how to operate, how to negotiate with players, how to negotiate with clubs, you know, how to establish relationships with sports lawyers, um, how to establish relationships with scouts. So all of this is knowledge that you need to know if you want to work as an agent or if you're already working as an agent, but you're not you know, taking your business to the next level, your practice, you're going to want to know how to do this day in, day out. So from the practical standpoint, this is a key area that you're going to learn in this course. And I'm going to talk about some of the professionals that are going to come and speak, you know, in just a moment. But the number one thing that you really need to be aware of is the knowledge. You need to equip yourself with the right skills, uh, with the right knowledge, because if you don't, you're going to be in a disadvantageous position with those that do have this knowledge, that do have this understanding of how you know, um, you know, the industry works and particularly representing football players as agents or intermediaries. So that's the, that's the first thing that you can expect in this course. Very deep knowledge, uh, practical hands-on knowledge, but also taking into account, as I said before, the rules, the regulations from FIFA. So from a theoretical standpoint, you're going to get that. And also from a practical standpoint, that's something that you can expect with the content for um, the course, the knowledge that you are gonna, that you're going to gain. Now, quickly looking at the curriculum, we're going to touch upon a number of areas that are important if you want to work as a football agent, as a football intermediary. So obviously understanding the business, uh, the role of the agent, um, those regulations that I mentioned before that are changing, that are evolving with um, you know, the FIFA rules. Um, for those that may know, in 2015, FIFA changed the, the rules for representatives, for agents and open the door for essentially most people to be able to represent football players. But they saw that this was a mistake, and this is one of the reasons why they're now looking to bring back the licensing um, and the, <clears throat> the exam that you need to pass in order to become an intermediary. So those regulations are very, very important for you to understand, because if not, you're going to be in a position um, where you're not going to be up to speed with what's happening in the industry. We're also going to touch upon player scouting and recruitment uh, because this is an important area as well. If you want to work representing football players, how do you reach this new talent? How do you scout? How do you build those relationships? And we're going to talk about that. In fact, we're going to bring a professional scout as one of the speakers. <clears throat> um, in term two, the second module, we're going to look at negotiating contracts. How do you draft those contracts? Uh, what do you need to know from the perspective of the player? What do you need to know from the perspective of the club? Imagine you're entering into a negotiation. Let's say you have a client. Let's say you have a football player that you represent. But you don't understand what goes on inside football clubs. You don't understand uh, the dynamics 
um, well, you're going to be, again, in a des disadvantageous position. So understanding how to negotiate those contracts, how to build those relationships, um, very, very important if you want to succeed as an agent. Uh, we're also going to look at the commercial side. So if you have a client, um, you know, uh, one thing is to sign a contract with a club, but then if this particular client has a certain, you know, element of exposure, there's evidently going to be opportunities for some sponsorship deals, for some endorsements, and we're going to look at how to structure those contracts, how to look at those endorsement deals, and what are some of the, the factors that you need to know about image rights and so on. Um, so the branding of an athlete, especially in this day and age with social media, very important to know. And like I said earlier, looking at, um, you know, sports law legislation, you know, uh, from, the, from the side of FIFA, but also from the side of disputes. So what happens when there's disputes? Where do you go? Um, you know, what type of um, uh, governance structures are in place? So all of that is going to be covered more from a legal standpoint as well. And then in term three, obviously, um, very important to build a network. If you work already as a representative, you will know this. Uh, and if you're looking to get into this uh, sector, you will understand that building a network is essential, especially in the global age that we live in. You, know, you, can, you can basically operate in different markets, but if, you're, you know, if you don't have a, a mega structure of an agency, it's going to be very difficult for you to operate in, in different markets on your own. So you're going to have to build a network. And, as, and so successful agents and represent, representatives, intermediaries, what they do is they build a network with, you know, if you're an agent in Spain, for example, you want to build a network with an agent in, in Germany and France and Brazil and different parts of the world so that you're able then to work collaboratively uh, with the players that that person may have that you can, you know, um, potentially introduce in the market where you're based. And likewise, some of the players that you may represent that can be, you know, um, uh, something in other markets. So that's a very important element in this day and age, the networking and the international structure of how to build those relationships. Evidently, there's also uh, other areas such as financial fair play, third party ownership. Those of you that may understand uh, a little bit about this will know about TPO uh, and that it's been banned by FIFA, but you'll see that in practice, there's still some elements that are, you know, that are uh, still surfacing. So we're, we're gonna touch upon that. And then finally, looking at how to manage the career of a player, wealth management, and a final project. So that's the curriculum that you can expect. The calendar. Well, you'll see it here. It runs from June 15th till the first week of December, uh, September, rather. And the way it's structured is you have one week, a master class with a top industry executive, which I'm going to sh share with you some of the guest speakers that we're going to you know, have come to speak to you. And then the next week, we have what is called a tutorial session or a lab session. And the idea here is that when the expert comes, you have an opportunity to ask him questions, him or her, um, you know, be engaged in the masterclass. And then the following week, we put all that into practice. So we're going to have a tutorial session where you can ask your questions, where we will introduce some practical cases. So it's an opportunity for you to have, um, you know, a networking session with some of the other course members and some of the experts that are moderating the sessions from SBI. So it's an opportunity for you to network, uh, engage, and learn. So that's the way that we normally structure our programs. Um, you know, we have an industry expert sharing the top uh, knowledge about, uh, you know, whatever their area of expertise is. And then the following week, you have someone that um, helps you out, answers your questions, and provides you practical cases. So that's the schedule from the calendar perspective. Now, the network, you may be saying, well, how am I going to build a network? I mean, I'm signing up for a course, it's online. Do I really get to network? Am I just going to be on my own looking at some PowerPoints and, you know, you know doing an online course? Um, well, I can tell you that that's not how we operate. That's not how we work. Uh, we really focus on building a community, building a network. And I'm going to share with you a little bit more about how we do that. So firstly, um, the course tutor. Um, one of the advantages you'll have if you sign up for this course is that you'll have access to the course tutor whose name is Male Koido. So I'll tell you a little bit more about Male. Male has been working as a football intermediary, an agent, uh, for the past 15 years. She's based in the UK and she's you know, represented clubs, players across a number of territories in Europe, in Latin America. So she brings on a lot of experience uh, in negotiation, in uh, signing contracts um, with players from across different markets. 
and she's going to be the tutor. So she's going to be the person that you can count on for support, advice. So as you can see, it's not an academic that we're bringing in to you know, talk about the role of the agent, but somebody that's doing this day in, day out. The other interesting thing about Male is that she formerly worked for Leicester City Football Club, <clears throat> excuse me, and Nike. So we talked about before the importance of those commercial endorsement deals. She has that perspective, not just from the role of the agent, but also from building a brand for a football player and looking for those commercial opportunities. So she's going to be the tutor. She's going to be in every single session for this course. Um, so that's just right then and there. You have an expert that you have access to, that you have an opportunity to ask questions, um, to pose your doubts, and somebody that's going to be there to support you from the SBI team. Now, apart from Mali, <clears throat> we've assembled a top lineup of guest speakers. And you're going to see why we've carefully selected each and every one of these individuals. We didn't want this course to just be about agents and the perspective of an agent, because there's a lot of programs out there that focus on how to be an agent, what you need to do, what are the regulations, and how you get started. And that's all great, but working as an agent, you have to look at different sides of the business. And we've assembled a lineup of guest speakers that looks at providing a perspective from different angles. So first guest speaker, apart from Mali, which I mentioned before, Daniel Gee. So Daniel Gee, those uh, that follow Daniel on social media, you, know, you will know that he is one of the top sports lawyers in the business of football. Uh, he's based in London. He works for a, a firm called Sheridan's, and he's worked with a lot of high profile clubs, uh, players, and you will see him online very often because he also does a lot of programs, guest lectures. So, you know, if, if uh, we're talking about one of the top sports lawyers in football, Daniel is one of them. And, you know, Daniel was uh, kind enough to come back to SBI. You know, we've uh, worked with Daniel for a number of years in different courses, and he's going to come back and he's going to talk about contract negotiations. So there you go. There you have one, you know, top speaker looking at from the legal side, from the sports lawyer side of things. We're also going to bring Dominic Vieira. Dominic is a, a registered agent with the Spanish uh, Federation. Uh, in fact, I met with Dominic uh, a few days ago. Dominic uh, has been working as an agent for a number of years. He represents a lot of uh, different players and a very high profile player um, at FC Barcelona. You know, we won't mention his name. He's asked us not to mention his name, but I can tell you that he's one of the top players uh, in the starting 11. So uh, obviously working with a top you know, client like that, you know, he brings a wealth of experience. And he's also representing players from other divisions and other leagues. So it's not just about the top players. It's not just about representing, you know, the megastars. <clears throat> Christian Martin is the CEO of Be Engaged. So he's going to come and talk more from the marketing side, looking at endorsement deals. Um, and then we have a professional football player, Yasser Corona. Yasser is a former Mexican national uh, team international. Uh, he's, uh, you know, been a professional football player for many years in the Mexican league. And he's going to look at it from the perspective of a player. So he's going to share his insights as to his relationships with agents and how he's dealt with, you know, those, um, those relationships as a player. So you're going to learn not just from the perspective, again, as an agent, but you're going to hear a player, you're going to hear a sporting um, um, lawyer, you're going to hear, you know, multiple agents, commercial experts. Um, another uh, lawyer that we're going to bring is Enrique Ripoy. Enrique will talk about minors, which is another area that FIFA is regulating very closely. <clears throat> and Enrique is an expert in this area. Enrique works for a law firm called Ruiz Huerta Crespo. And this law firm is one of the ones that uh, has the most high profile uh, clients in football when it comes to clubs, players. They've represented FC Barcelona, they've represented you know, a number of clubs when they've had uh, disputes. So Enrique is a partner at this law firm, and he's a very well knowledgeable, um, you know, sports lawyer talking about minors. And then finally, Oriol Viñas Prat, uh, who is a scout, uh, uh, international scout. So looking at player recruitment, looking at the role of the scout, and he is the director at MVP Academy. We're looking at also bringing out um, a couple more speakers, which we'll introduce a little bit later on. So stay uh, stay tuned for some additional names that may be coming up. Um, you know, further on. But as you can see, the lineup is not just intermediaries agents. 
we have players, we have marketing professionals, um, we have sports lawyers, um, scouts, etc. So that's how you can expect to learn and network because let's not forget these guys are going to be coming and you know servicing you, the student. Um, I always say this: if you want to build a network on your own, you know I'm sure you've tried sending a link mes LinkedIn message to some people that um, you know, that you don't know. Um, and in most cases, the, the reaction is, is that, you know, they either don't reply or take a long time. And the reason for that is because they, they don't trust uh, those that they don't know. So here we're opening the door to all these experts for you to tap into them, to tap into their knowledge, and also to tap into them as a network. Um, some of you that follow SBI will also know that uh, we work very closely with professional football players. Uh, our courses attract professional football players from across a number of countries, regions, and this course is no exception. So as students, we have uh, a couple of the players that you see here. So Yasser Corona, I mentioned he's going to be talking more from his experience and he's going to be more uh, on the guest speaker side of things, uh, so a player. But then we have a couple of professional players. We have Adama Diomonde, Dio, as he's known. Dio is a Norwegian international and he is playing in Major League Soccer in the United States for a club called LAFC. This is the new club that uh, came up in Los Angeles. Uh, so not the Galaxy, this is the other club in Los Angeles, LAFC. This is the club uh, with Carlos Vela and some of these other players. So Dio, uh, out of the blue, just signed up for the course and said, hey, I really want to learn about uh, what you guys are doing. have had a uh, very good reference from S SBI. So he signed up. I've had some really good conversations with him. Um, obviously, now they're looking at coming back, as the, the other leagues are as well. Uh, and it looks like uh, MLS is going to be played in Orlando, uh, a 30-day tournament. So, you know, stuff like that, you know, I'm sure he'll be sharing during the class discussions. So there's an opportunity to network with professional players like Dio. And then we also have Daniel Bachmann. Daniel Bachmann is Austrian. He plays for Watford FC, so a Premier League player, you know. And he's going to be talking about uh, his experiences as well. I mean, sharing that as a student in, of the course. And of course, learning. So, you know, you're going to have live sessions, as I said, every Monday night. Um, so it's not like you're going to build a network simply by, you know, having a list of emails or a forum. You're actually going to be talking to these guys live, just like I'm speaking now. And here in tonight's session, you guys are all muted because this is a webinar. But in our regular lessons, in our regular classes, Everybody has their micro microphone on, everybody's speaking, engaging, and we moderate so that everybody has an opportunity to come onto the discussions, ask their questions. So you're gonna get to know these guys uh, on a very intimate level because it's not gonna be recorded, it's gonna be, I should rephrase that, the lessons are recorded, but they're not pre-recorded. So if you attend live, you have an opportunity to engage with these guys and learn from them and build a relationship with them, much like we have at SBI, for example, Dio. I, I didn't know him from anything. And one day he signed up for the course. Now I've been in touch with him um, and I've built a relationship with him. And, you know, it's, it's great because now at SBI we have another player that we can engage with. But just like I got to know him a few weeks ago, you guys will get to know him and engage with him and these other guys. And not just the players, but others in the cohort that will be agents, that will come from other corporate sectors and, you know, that will be like-minded peers. So that's an opportunity as to how you start building the network. The other thing we do is we start a WhatsApp group for those that are in the cohort. So what does this mean? It means that the sessions are live on Mondays, Monday nights, but the rest of the week, the conversation remains active on WhatsApp because we'll be posting content, we'll be posting questions, you know, you guys can also be interacting, and the WhatsApp group serves two purposes. Number one, to build those relationships, to share content, to engage with your classmates. So that's the first part. But number two, and more importantly, to build those relationships. And in many cases, you end up building friendships. We've seen it time and time again at SBI courses because of the WhatsApp groups that we create, that people engage, they keep the conversation alive. Many people have side conversations and you know, move in and have connections on WhatsApp. So you're gonna have access to all the cohort members. Um, and of course, Male, myself, the SBI team, we're going to be in this WhatsApp group. So you're going to have right off the bat a network that you can begin to count on. And this is very valuable. As an agent, as an intermediary, the first thing that you want to have in the industry is a network. If you don't have a network, you're starting in a very you know, disadvantageous position. So right 
top of that, you build a network, you have all these into, you know, uh, like-minded peers, like I said, some of them professional footballers, some of them executives from football, some of them, you know, corporates from other sectors. And it's an opportunity for you to start building a network. And the other thing is an international network, because since it's an online course, we'll have people from Brazil. We just saw this in the introductory, you know, session. Um, you know, people from Brazil, people from the US, people from Europe, you know, from Australia. So you're going to be able to build a network with, you know, people from all over the globe. And here, just to give you an idea as to who we work with at SBI, this is the, we've put a yellow dot for a country where we've had students from, um, and this is not updated. This is, you know, maybe from six, seven months ago. So there's been a few more countries in Africa specifically that we've added. Uh, but just so you see, there's a lot of yellow dots, particularly in Europe, North America, South America, you know, Asia. Um, so what this means is that you, you're entering a community at SBI that is beyond just, you know, um, a school or, or a course. It's about creating those relationships and, and having the opportunity to tap into those, that network. And, you know, I get this all the time. I mean, I get students or former students or, or even prospective students that say, hey, I want to be in touch with with somebody, just to give you an example, Georgie, who's on the call here tonight, Georgie has signed up for our master's program, which we're starting in October. And he mentioned to our team and he said, I'd like to speak to somebody in Central Europe. So we put him in touch with a former student of ours, in fact, a current student of ours, who just happens to be a professional footballer. And now they're in touch, you know, they're in touch via WhatsApp. And I, mean, I, I don't actually know how the conversation has, uh, has gone on. So Georgie maybe can tell us in the chat uh, if he's gotten a, a chance to, to, to get in, in touch with him. Um, but anyway, what I mean is that you have an opportunity to build that relationship with the network at SBI, which is very valuable. You know, some of the organizations we've worked with, some of the organizations that have sent us executives to do our programs, um, you know, you see them on screen here. And these are just a few. Uh, some of them we have a very profound relationship with, some of these clubs, some of these federations, organizations, media outlets. So um, I don't say this to, you know, to blow our own horn because, you know, I don't want it to sound like that uh, or to boast about that or brag about SBI. But what I mean is that you have a resource, you have a network uh, because the network that we have is built for the student base that we, you know, that we cater to. So it's not about us saying that we are SBI and we work with all these organizations. It's about the opportunity for you guys to enter a community where there's a big wide network in football. Now, I don't want to go too far into um, into time here because we're already you know close to the, the half hour mark. So I'll I'll uh, run through some of these slides a little bit quick, but just so you know the structure of the course. You have an online campus where you have 24/7 access to resources such as presentations, case studies, videos, links, etc. And this is the online campus that you have 24/7 access to. Now the idea is that you review those contents on your own, you know, whenever you have time. It usually takes anywhere from two to five hours to review per week. And then the idea is that you prepare that for the guest lecture, which is held on Monday nights at 8 p.m. local time in Barcelona. So you have the guest speaker, and we, we've already talked about those guest speakers who we've invited. So that's every Monday night. And then the following Monday night, as I mentioned before, we have those lab sessions, we have those tutorial sessions for you guys to ask questions, to have more of an engaging and interactive session. Because obviously when the speaker comes, you know, the speaker talks about his experience and it takes a little bit longer. So usually what happens in the guest speaker sessions in the master classes, they have a duration of about 40 minutes and then we leave 20 minutes for Q&A. The lab session, it's a full hour for Q&A, for discussing cases, you know, for networking. So it's one week lecture, one week lab session. And then finally, we have some practical assignments, um, and a final project, uh, which is uh, very much hands-on. Uh, and um, You know, we won't go into that just now because that's, that's more from the academic side of things, but, uh, but there is a project that you submit. The structure, well, as I mentioned, you have an online campus where new content is uploaded every time we, um, we drop a new module, we open up a new module. So you have that content for you to review. And then you have those Monday nights live at 8 p.m. local time in Barcelona, which is 7 p.m. UK. Uh, and obviously, if you want to, you know, just uh, uh, match your time zone always to Barcelona local time, 8 p.m., right? So those sessions are held every Monday. And like I said, the conversation remains active through the WhatsApp group. So that means that the course is not just Monday night. The course is Monday night with the lessons, but the rest of the week, 
we have those conversations on social media, ah, not social media, WhatsApp. So it's a very um, you know engaged group and it's a closed group as well. So that gives you an opportunity to have that intimacy, to have those, you know, that, op that opportunity to build those relationships with your classmates. Now, the other thing that we do at SBI is we work very closely uh, with our students as mentors. So many of you perhaps are thinking about this course because you don't have the experience, because you want to learn more about how to become an agent, how to become an intermediary. And that's where the mentorship really has a lot of value because you can ask us questions and you can say, well, how do I start or where do I begin? And, you know, and we get this all the time. You know, I'm, I'm based in Africa and I have all these contacts and all these players, but how do I get started? Or I'm in North America and I have an opportunity to collaborate with, you know, this club or this academy. How can I get involved? Um, so there's different profiles, different countries uh, that we work with. Um, uh, so our expert team will be able to guide you, will be able to mentor you no matter where you're at. If you're starting out or if you've already an established agent and want to take your practice to the next level or want to learn more about those regulations that I mentioned before that are going to come into play from FIFA. So all of this is something that you can expect from us as well. Uh, just quickly, the, the program key benefits, obviously those live weekly online classes, which by the way are recorded. So if for any reason you can't attend because of you know, other commitments or because in the time zone that you're in, it's too late, those are all recorded. You can watch them back <clears throat> and have an opportunity to be um, you know, reviewing the content on your own. Now the content is, like I said, up-to-date, real-life learning content. So you, you shouldn't expect textbook theory. Obviously, there's going to be some theory regarding the FIFA regulations and more the legal side of things, and you're going to have this in the online content. Um, but you know the, the master classes, they're not about you sitting there taking notes and just listening to somebody for an hour. It's about an engaging conversation. It's about, about you asking questions to, you know, if we bring in a scout, you have the opportunity to say, hey, you know, can you tell me more about player recruitment? How does that work from inside a club? What do they look for? You know, or if we bring in an agent, well, how does a relationship work with a player and an agent? Or how do you sign an endorsement deal with Nike or Adidas? Or, you know, how do I represent a minor? Can I do that? You know, all of those questions, you know, you can ask to these experts. Um, and like I said before, the mentoring program, which we talked about just now. So those are the key benefits. Student testimonials, you know, I won't run through them, uh, all of them, but just go to our website. You see people from, from football, from other sectors. Um, that they recommend the courses, that they you know, find value in them. So that's Ruth Corey. She's a student of ours, a former student uh, working at Charlton Athletic in the UK. So Charlton, a club uh, formerly in the Premier League, now in the Championship. Uh, here's Antonio as well. He says that um, you know the course added value, extended his network. So here's an executive that didn't come from football. So Vodafone. So somebody that comes from the corporate world who wanted to redirect his career and found value through the networks, through the content of our programs. If you want to join, um, you know, you need to go to our website. I'm sure you guys, uh, some of you that are on the call tonight have visited our site, but if you haven't been there, it's SBI for Sports Business Institute. So sbibarcelona.com altogether. And you'll see, you'll see that there's a section there for programs and you can click on the certificate in football player intermediation which begins June 15th, so this is coming up in 10 days. The language, important, 100% in English. All the guest speakers, all the content, all the material, all the support, 100% in English. So if you're coming from another you know, country and you're thinking, well, yeah, but in Barcelona you guys speak Spanish, Catalan, yes, but the courses at SBI, they're all 100% in English. Format, of course, online but online with live interactive dynamic sessions through this, this same platform that we're using here. And then the fee, this is something that, um, you know, some of you may have seen on the website or may not have seen it. It's 975 euros. So the fee for the 13 weeks, the speakers, um, you know, the content online, the support, that's 975 um, euros if it's a one-time payment. If it's a two, uh, it's, if it's in two installments, there's an additional fee. You can see that on our web. Um, so there is uh, an additional fee because the, the installments are 600 euros each. So you do save if you, if you, um, you know, register with that one-time fee, 975 
euros. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's an investment that, um, you know, it's an important investment for me, and, and it's understandable. Um, but just think, you know, if you want to go to a conference and speak to some of these speakers that, uh, that are going to be coming on, you know, usually a, a delegate passes anywhere in the range of five, 600 euros uh, for some of the top, you know, congresses in football where, where you can expect to meet and engage and interact and network with some of these you know, professionals. And that's just a, a delegate pass. Uh, so no, no, no training content, no support, no mentorship. Um, so here, it's, you know, it's an investment. Um, but if you're prepared to take your step, to, to take your career to that next step, to that next level, uh, we can guarantee you that you're going to find value, and uh, you know we're convinced that you're you're going to find uh, uh, a lot of a lot of elements where you're going to you know take your career to the next level. So with that, um, well, the final thing that I'll say is one of the things that the course also includes is Daniel G's book Done Deal. So those who register. Um, everybody that registers for the course gets a copy of the Done Deal book, which is an excellent resource. Uh, I mean, if you guys don't have it yet, uh, definitely something that I strongly recommend that you read if you're looking to get into the area of intermediation, agent, representation. Um, so we'll, we'll include that in the price for you as well, because we, we have a collaboration with Daniel, and um, uh, he's uh, very kindly agreed to um, you know, come in and speak to our cohort and uh, part of what you will expect to see in the course as well is, uh, you know, a lot of it is, uh, uh, you know, looking at what Daniel puts in his book. So the book is there for your resource. And of course, the guest speakers, Daniel included, will come and speak to you guys. So that said, let's go ahead. Uh, let's turn it over to you guys for, um, for questions. So it's, I see that it's 8.36 in my time. So, so I've, gone on, I've gone over by six minutes. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the chat box. Questions, anything that you want to know about, you know, the course or about um, the role of the agent, now is the time to, you know, to, to talk about it. Um, so, Sean says, I've got a meeting in two minutes and I've got to disconnect. Excellent session. Oh, no. Uh, I'll ask more questions in another time. Take care, Diego. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Hope to see you in another, um, in another uh, webinar or... You know, just get in touch with us if you want to look at this course more carefully. Okay, well, let's have a look at some questions, which uh, I think they're starting to come in the chat box. So let me just have a look here uh, very quickly. So we have one from Kello. So Kello says, I'm wondering if there are any if there's any financial assistance, grant opportunities, subvention programs, work study options, or other funding mechanisms available from Sports Business Institute or your global partners? Well, we do from time to time, um, you know, provide some uh, assistance, some scholarships. However, we don't do this in an ad hoc basis. Uh, we work with certain organizations um, and we collaborate. So the best thing to do in that case, Kello, is send us an email, uh, get in touch with our team, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that because we don't do this on an ad hoc basis. We work uh, with, um, you know, like I said, some organizations, and we've done this in the past, where we provide some scholarships or funding or, you know, some support. But the best thing to do, Kello, is to get in touch with our team for that. Um, right. So, any other questions? Let me check social media as well. By the way, if you want to follow us on Twitter, we're there, um, and you can submit some questions via DM or via Twitter. Uh, I know some of the people that um, are on the call said that they would be engaging with us through Twitter as well. So I'll give you guys a little bit more time if you want to uh, look at the course or want to find out more about how this can benefit you. And I'll take a sip of water. Okay. Okay, I have another question here from Marta on Twitter. She's asking, are the guest speakers that you've mentioned confirmed, and is that the full list, or can we expect more? Okay, thank you for the question. Yes, in theory, uh, we have confirmed all of them, so that means that, uh, yes, you can expect all of them that we've mentioned here to be your guest speakers. In the event, in the unforeseen event that something happens and that one of them cannot come, what we'll first try to do is try and arrange another time, and if for any reason they can't come back, we will find somebody who's an alternate uh, with the same experience, the same you know uh, type of profile. 
but uh, but no, we've uh, we've uh, agreed to with uh, with every single one of them. Uh, we have uh, the agreements in place with all of them, so we're really looking forward to working with them. And yes, you can expect to see maybe one or two more. It's not 100% confirmed with confirmed yet, but we're looking to bring in uh, one or two more that some of you may uh, may uh, recognize because again maybe a, a little bit more high profile guest speaker. So yes, all of the guest speakers are confirmed. So thank you, Marta, for that, uh, for that question. Right, well, let me have a look at, uh, at the chat box here and see what else we have. Uh, JP, he says, sorry if this was responded during your presentation, but I joined a few minutes late. The question is, how many times has SBI taught this program? JP, very good question. This is the first time that we are gonna be launching this certificate program. So it's a new program. That said, we have a methodology that is tested. Um, our online campus, uh, the, the way we work with the master classes, the lab sessions, uh, the WhatsApp group, this is a methodology that has been working you know, very well for us for the past eight years. So for us, we're not concerned about the fact that it's a new course because we know that the speakers are top level, we know that the content is top level, and we know uh, from our methodology and the way that we deliver the programs that, um, you know, we've had uh, people who've had success and, um, you know, they find the, 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 the courses engaging, they find the, the, the fact that they build a network, and more importantly, they find that they take their career to the next level. You know, they find that through our programs, they're able to either find a job or develop, um, you know, a practice or a, or a company in the business side of football. And, you know, and, and we have had many success cases of people that, ha that have gone on to work for FIFA, for Manchester United, for Inter, um, for Galatasaray, uh, for AZ Alkmaar in um, Holland. Um, I mean, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. So we've had a lot of cases for the World Cup, uh, for um, you know, uh, the World Cup in Russia, Adidas, Nike, <coughs> Puma. I mean, there's so many cases that we can talk about uh, success stories of people that have gone on to work in some of these organizations. And then this particular course, probably, you know, you don't want a job in, in these organizations. Probably what you want to do is find an opportunity to represent players, to build a career as an agent. <clears throat> and as you can see, um, maybe you missed it in the presentation, but already a couple of the registered students, so not speakers, students are professional players, an MLS player and a Premier League player. So these are going to be your, your cohort participants who you're gonna have access in the WhatsApp group um, and obviously with uh, the rest of the SBI team and other members. So that's um, you know, how, what you can expect uh, from the course, JP. So thanks, thanks for your question. So it is a new course, so if you do decide to join, you'll be a pioneer in the course, but by no means you're, you're dealing with um, you know, uh, an organization that is, uh, that is just beginning. We've been in the market, like I said, for eight years. And um, you know, if you wanna know a little bit more, I suggest you look at our profile on LinkedIn and just look at the testimonials. That will give you an idea as to the profile of students and um, and the you know the feedback that they have and uh, and how they've gone on to to secure um, you know success uh, from either employment or business ventures in football. So thank you for that, JP. Um, let me see if I got your name right, Shubham Jadhav. Shubham, I'm uh, sorry. Sorry, I'm not uh, pronouncing your name right, but you say, how will the course help me to shape my career as I currently am pursuing an MBA in marketing? Okay, well, it all depends what you want to do, Shubham, because one of the things that you will need to know as well if you want to work as an agent is that it's no longer just about knowing about representation and about the role of the agent. Because at the end of the day, you need to know about the business of football. So you need to understand what is the ecosystem like, who are the main actors, how do clubs generate revenue, um, what are the main um, you know, wage uh, um, costs uh, in many cases, um, what do you need to know, how is the salary structured, uh, what is the hierarchy of salaries within football clubs, um, how do you know what football clubs are looking for as far as you know, players, what positions. Um, so all of this is information that you need to know so the fact that you have an MBA in marketing is very good because that covers a lot of the commercial side of things, which I'm sure that's gonna be something that will uh, be an area that you're already very familiar with, but you're gonna complement it with that other side, that legal side, 
that practical side of representing football players. And with your marketing degree, you know, you're going to be able to round it up very well. And who knows? I mean, you may go on to have a career, a successful career as a football agent, but perhaps you'll find that uh, you'll have an opportunity to represent players more from a communication standpoint or for a branding standpoint, um, you know, endorsements. So that may be the route that you take. So this course will not necessarily, and this is why we said that we're going to look at the, the 360 view, the, the holistic view of representation of players, because it's not just about contracts and transfer windows. We're also going to look at scouting. We're going to look at um, the role of the sporting director. Um, you know, we're going to look at the commercial endorsement deals. So you may find that if you want to take your career uh, to um, you know the, the marketing side, this course will benefit you as well. So um, hope that answers your question, uh, Shubham. So let me know if that does, um, and I'll be happy to expand further if you want. Grecia, Grecia, I recognize your name, Grecia. Um, I've seen you in previous webinars before. We haven't never, we've never met or exchanged any messages, but I've seen you in, uh, in previous webinars, so it's nice to see you here again. So, Grecia, what if we have questions after this meeting? Who will contact? Oh, well, there you go. We were just talking, uh, Grecia, of how we haven't engaged, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a call or in an email exchange. Thank you for that question. So, I'll... Um, I'll put my contact email here. You can also contact uh, some of our other team members, but if you want to send me an email, there you see it on screen. It's diego.valdez at sbibarcelona.com. Or if you go to our website, you'll see the contact form. Just fill that out and get in touch with us. Um, but if you wanted to take note of the email address uh, there, just send me an email, Grecia, and we can talk a little bit more. Um, so happy to see that, um, that we're finally going to have an opportunity to, to have this uh, personal engagement, uh, because like I said, I've seen you in some previous webinars, so it's nice to see you, Grecia. So anyway, let me know if you want me to, to pull, up, uh, pull up the screen again with, um, with my email. I'll leave it there for a bit, uh, so you can copy it, and uh, likewise with Emma or Chavi from our team. Um, so thank you, Grecia. Get in touch with us, and we'd be happy to know more about your career objectives, your aspirations, because again, this is another thing that you can expect from our team. This is not about us. SBI, obviously, we've been around for eight years and we've collaborated with a lot of these clubs and players that I mentioned before. But it's not about us. All our mission is about you guys. It's about our students because our success depends on your success. So one of the first things that we do when we have a conversation with you is not talk about what we do and you know, who we work with. It's who are you? What do you want to achieve? What are your career aspirations? What are the gaps that you need to fill? And with that information, we can then look to see how we can help you. So that's how we operate at SBI. We want to know about your goals, your aspirations, because everybody's different. Everybody's in a different geographical location, different age, different experience, etc. So it would be, you know, um, it would be, it would make no sense if we wanted to treat everybody the same. So we want to know who you are, what you want to do. And based on that, that's how we have, uh, you know, an initial conversation. So thank you, Grecia. Look forward to chatting with you. Uh, Adam L. Spencer, how do I get a copy of these slides? Um, Adam, we don't have a copy of the slides to, to share, but what we will be sharing is the recorded session. So if you came in late, we will send a link via email so that you can watch the whole thing and you'll have the slides there. So normally what we do is we share the, the recording the day after, so you can expect that by tomorrow. But, um, but these slides we, we, don't, um, we don't share because it's internal uh, you know, material that we use just to talk about the course. Uh, there is a PDF that you can download on our website that has all this information and much more. Um, so you can, uh, you can download that uh, from our website, uh, Prospectus. But the slides, uh, normally we don't share, but you can have the recording. So Adam from Seattle, Washington. So Adam, must be the middle of the afternoon there for you. So it must be what, like 1 o'clock or 12 noon or something like that? Um, anyway, uh, let us know. Um, Adam, if you need any more information about how to get access to the recording. It's uh, noon. Okay, so you have the rest of the day there, Adam. Uh, so uh, if you have uh, any more questions, just feel free to get in touch with us and hope that you're getting nice weather over there in Seattle. Uh, I've never been to Seattle. I've been to California several times, but um, in uh, Seattle, I've never had the chance to be there. So uh, hopefully you're getting uh, nice weather and not rainy weather, which I'm, uh, I'm assuming that's what... Uh, is the normal weather over there. So thank you, Adam. Thanks for your question. 
Fahad says, thank you for the session. Do you have any clue about the number of participants who registered for the course? Yeah, good question, Fahad. So um, we're expecting a cohort that is small. And when I say small, probably a maximum of around 12 participants. So we're not expecting, you know, you, and this is, this is something else that um, has that exclusivity element to the course. We understand that 975 euros is an investment, but what that does is that gives you a certain exclusivity. Because there's there's other programs out there and, and they're very legitimate programs, but you know that that charge a, a little bit less and that have 50, 100, 150 students in the course, and that's great. But you don't get that opportunity to network, to engage, to build those relationships. So usually in our courses, we we say that we have a maximum of 30 for our for our online programs, but for this particular course, we're expecting somewhere around 12, something like that. Uh, maybe more. I mean, we don't know. Obviously, that's something that we can't predict up, up until the last minute because that's uh, depending on how many people we register. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking around 12, 15 maybe um, by the time that uh, we hit the, the starting date. So that's uh, something that you can expect. And then uh, Fahadza has a follow-up question. Can you give me some more information about the project towards the end of the course? Yeah. So this project, what you can expect it to be is very hands-on. Um, so uh, we're still uh, uh, looking at several options because we have several options that we're looking at for the final project because we want to make it as um, customized for each person because what we don't want to do is we just we don't want to give a project for all course participants but somebody may be a professional footballer, somebody may be a scout, and somebody may be just starting out. Because the, the expectations, the, the project that they wanna work on will be very different. So what we're looking at is setting up three or four different options that you can choose from, and based on what fits most with your, you know, with your profile or with your, your um, aspirations. Um, so for example, it could be you know, maybe looking at how to set up an agency or um, you know, how to uh, look at other elements of um, scouting or, you know, depending on what you want to do, there's going to be certain options. But what you can expect it to be very hands-on. So it's, this, is not a, this is not a course that has been designed to be, you know, um, an academic uh, type of program where you're going to have to be pounding through books and reading and citations and all of this. This is not the type of course that you can expect. Uh, it's about very hands-on knowledge. It's about understanding the industry and putting that into practice. So the final project will be um, focused on that. But the other thing that we want is we also don't want to uh, open up the, the, the topics at the beginning because we want to give you guys time to understand the content, the knowledge beforehand. And then, because we've seen this before, that people come on to some of our other courses and they have a very you know, set objective as to what they want to do for their project. And then as they move forward in the course and they start learning new things and getting additional insight, they say, well, no, actually, I want to shift and I want to pivot. So rather than give you something and start working on it and then have to you know, change it, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce that to you a few weeks into the course. But you can expect that it's not going to be burdensome and it's not going to be something that you're going to be you know, having to be working you know, many, many hours. We understand that a lot. And you know, a lot of the participants have tight agendas, constant travel, and just you know, you've seen these guys, the players, you know, they're busy and especially now training, getting ready back for, for competition. So these guys don't have time to be, you know, looking at, uh, you know, projects that are going to take uh, hours and hours. So uh, that's what you can expect. Um, so very practical hands-on. So I won't divulge the, the, the topics just yet, but you can expect them to be very hands-on and related to the content. Um, right. So I know we're reaching the hour here, but let me just make sure that, that I'm not leaving any any questions behind. Georgie says, okay, Georgie, how much of an overlap, if any, is there between the course, the courses, cases, lectures, insights, and tutorial sessions with any of the modules in the Master in Football Business Management or any other program offered by SBI? Good question, Georgie. Um, there's very little overlap, and that's one of the reasons why we created this specific certificate, because we do have a module in the Master's. The, the great thing about the Master's program is that it looks at all of the business of football. And of course, one of them is the role of the agent. So you will have a module on the role of the agent. However, you know, here we have, like you've just seen, 
um, six or seven top guest speakers specifically focused on intermediation, representation, sports law, scouting, sporting directorship, etc. So this is something that is very much focused for this course. So there is a little bit of overlap in the sense that you will look at the role of the agent. And in fact, Male is a speaker for the master's program as well. She's been a speaker in the previous cohort and um, you know, we're looking to work with her next year as well. So you can expect Male to be um, one of the course lecturers in the master's. But some of these other guys that are very much focused on representation, we've, we've specifically brought them on for this course. Um, and then the other thing is, one of the great things about SBI's programs is the networking because you have an opportunity to connect with people from all over the world. So every edition that you join, you're gonna have a different set of executives, participants from all over the world. Some, and sometimes we do this when we're talking to people who are interested in courses, we say, listen, if you're interested in doing the course now, you know, we, we have a couple of professional players. You know, normally we, we get a lot of them throughout the year, but we cannot guarantee that if you do this course again in six months time, that we're gonna have you know, that type of profile of participants. So that's another element that you should think about when you're looking to join one of the SBI programs that unfortunately that's something we can't control. You know, we, we would love to say, well, this next edition, we're gonna have three players and two sporting directors and three marketing executives. But sometimes that's the, the, the luck of every cohort. But when we do have that, we do mention that to our students. So for example, we had a, a recent course that we ran in, in digital marketing where we had a marketing executive from AS Roma, um, somebody in the commercial team in Asia for EA Sports, um, somebody working for a first division club in Portugal, Rio Ave, sports lawyer in eSports, um, who else? Uh, yeah, marketing uh, executive in, a, in one of the biggest sporting um, communication firms in Brazil. So, I mean, you know, this cohort is fantastic because you join that course and not only do you get great content, but you have this, this network that you build and that you take away for, for life, really, because the WhatsApp group really allows you to, to engage and, and have a conversation with, uh, with these people beyond the, you know, the 13 weeks or the eight months or the four months of, of other courses that we run. So that's another element that, uh, that I would definitely um, encourage those that are already doing courses with us or that are, have done courses with us before. Um, and, and you'll see that we have a lot of people that repeat programs with us. I had a conversation with Daniel, who I, I think he said he would be on the call. Daniel Lingenfanger uh, is based in the United States. He's done three programs with us already. He's a consultant. He's a football consultant in the U.S. So he has his practice. Oops. He has his practice in the U.S. Um, and he's found a lot of value in our program. Uh, but a lot of it is not just the content, but the network. So he's you know, considering this course as well. He he's, I had a conversation with him last night and he said, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about it because he's looking to do some work with uh, an MLS team and he wants to know more about the recruitment side, about the club side. Um, so this course, you know, fits in very well with, um, with what he's looking to achieve. So that's what you can expect as far as, um, you know, the different programs if you join um, SBI. Um, so the network is very unique to the cohort that you join and the content itself you know, it would make no sense for us to do three or four different courses that talk about the same thing. So each one has a niche and the master is sort of the flagship program because that looks at all of the business side of football and that one has a guest speaker, you know, basically every week. So for eight months, you have an executive that comes in and, uh, and talks uh, about the business side of football. So you, you'll definitely find a lot of value in the masters. But if you're thinking about, you know, complementing and doing this, uh, the other thing is as SBI students, you have a special discount. So whether you're starting a course with us or you've done a course with us, there's a special alumni discount. So get in touch with us if you're thinking about doing another course with us and we'll tell you about uh, the alumni discount. This is for, for you, Georgie, if you're thinking about this one or for any of the others in the call that are former SBI students, uh, let us know because there, there's a special um, you know, alumni rate for you guys. Right, so let me just go here and look at any final questions that we may have here um, so I don't see any all oh, right so Faisal has another question here hi is the certificate equivalent to the FIFA certificate for agents or could it help in passing the FIFA agent certificate 
Great question, Faisal. Thank you for bringing that up. No, it is not equivalent to the FIFA certificate. However, it will help in passing it and it will help in understanding what you need to know. So you will be prepared as to the knowledge, as to the content that you will need uh, for those um, certificates, for those agent um, tests that are coming back. Now, the other thing that you should know is the licensing system, so this test from FIFA is coming back. But what we don't know is when, because this was supposed to happen this year, but with the coronavirus, it's all been postponed. Now, we know that it's for sure that FIFA is going to bring the licensing back, that we're going to bring back the exam. So this is confirmed. What we don't know is when. So it may be, you know, later this year, it may be in the beginning of next year. But the other thing that you need to know is that one thing is passing the agent exam, and the other thing is knowing what you need to do to represent players. And they're very different because one is the theory and the other is the practice. The theory is very important because if FIFA brings back the license, which they will, you will need to get that theory. And if you don't have that theory, you know, you, you can't represent players or you won't be able to represent players once that agent license comes back. So it's very important to have that. But you're going to see, and this is what used to happen before when the, Lisa, when the FIFA license uh, agent, uh, um, when the FIFA license was in, introduced before, before 2015. And what happened is that a lot of people had the license, but then they weren't representing players. They weren't doing anything with it. They had a piece of paper that said that they were FIFA agents, but they, they weren't doing anything because they lacked the network. They lacked the, the know-how. They lacked the contacts, um, the relationships. So this is very, very important. The FIFA exam will allow you to get the license, but the license doesn't guarantee that you're going to be a successful agent. So what will, what will take your career to the next level? And if you talk to anybody who's in representation and any agent, you'll know that it's, it's about the network. It's about the trust. You know, I'll give you an example. I mean, and this is a real life example and I won't, um, you know, I won't divulge names or, or clubs, but um, you know, uh, for example, there was a, there's a player, um, um, let's say just hypothetically speaker speaking, let's say you're based in uh, Faisal. Let's say you're based in, I don't know where you're based in uh, Faisal, maybe somewhere in the Middle East. Uh, but let's say you're based in Saudi Arabia. Oh, you, you told me before, sorry, in Riyadh. Okay. So you're in Riyadh. Okay. And let's say you have a player and he's a very good player. And you've managed to represent him, and he's a talent that you have, and you know. But let's say that you're thinking, and um, you know, you you you'd like him to play in Europe, but you don't have any contacts in Europe, and you yourself you call the clubs um, and you say, hey, I have this top talent, um, you know, he's a really good player in Saudi Arabia. Chances are that you're not going to have a, a lot of opportunities for them to open the door. I mean, unless we're talking about the next Messi, and by then, probably a lot of people will have understood who he is and they would have contacted you. But if that's not the case, and in 99.999% of the cases, that won't be the case, um, the reality is that you will probably have a hard time you know, reaching out to some of these clubs if you don't have the contacts. So that's why it's important for you to build a network because the way it normally works is then if you have a contact in Spain, for example, you can then reach out to the agent in Spain and say, hey, listen, I have this player. Um, is there any opportunity for him to have a trial or for him to you know, be, be seen? Or can we talk and have a, a meeting with any of the clubs that you've you know, engaged with? And maybe there's you know, five, ten clubs that this agent in Spain will have direct contact with. And that way, you'll, you'll have a door opened to the Spanish market. And in that same line, you, know, you could talk about the German market, the French market, the Brazilian market, the Japanese market, you know, the Middle East market, and, and some other countries in the region. So... Representing players doesn't necessarily mean that just because you have a player, you're going to have the opportunity to, you know, to take that player elsewhere or find them an opportunity internationally if you don't have the contacts. So you may have the license, which is great, but you'll also need to have that network. You'll need to have that know-how. And this is what you can expect in this course, particularly that second part. Evidently, we're going to look at the first part, the theory and what you'll need to know. And that's why one of the reasons um, you know, we talked about in the beginning of the presentation, why now? because FIFA has just introduced new regulations that, we're gonna, that are going to be implemented. So evidently, we're going to cover those. 
But that's only half the battle. Once you have that piece of paper, that license that says that you're a FIFA agent, a licensed FIFA agent, then the, the, the heavy lifting comes afterwards. Um, so the academic part, if you will, the, the part that you will need to study is that first part. But it's like anything, after you have that practical, uh, sorry, that, uh, that theoretical side, you're gonna need that practical um, you know, component, which is where you're gonna need the network, which you're, where you're gonna need to know how, 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 how you, you know, negotiate with a club, what do clubs look for, what is included in those contracts, how are the player bonuses negotiated, um, you know, how are the endorsements signed, what are the clauses in a commercial contract? You know, um, all of this is very important for you to know because if you don't have this information, and let's not forget, and this is a very important um, element to take into consideration here as well. I, like I said, we deal with a lot of football players. We, we have a lot of professional football players. And professional football players, they are counting on their career to have the most success, to earn the most money because their, their career is short. So you need to have the right agent as a player because if you have someone who's not looking out for your best interest or doesn't have the network or can't represent you successfully, you know, you're putting your hands, your career into somebody that may not know what he's doing. And this is why FIFA is bringing back the licensing system because since 2015, you know, everybody and their uncle for a, a lack of a better term, you know, could represent players. And what happened was you had a lot of people that were unqualified, um, that didn't know what they were doing, and they were dealing with the careers of these individuals. And these guys, you know, it's also an ethical thing. It's also an ethical thing that you got to know what you're doing if you're going to be representing a player. Because, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you're, you're putting that future of that particular player in your hands. And so that's why from, from the perspective of all angles, it's important to understand this particular side of the industry. So hopefully that answers the question, Faisal. Um, right, I see we have a few more people um, still logged on here um, and um, I'll take the opportunity for any final questions. Uh, I don't see any more in the chat unless somebody's repeated. So let me go back and see. Um, Romeo says, uh, good to see you, good to see you, Romeo. I know we follow each other on social media. We've been involved in, uh, in some previous uh, uh, engagements online. Um, right, so let me just go through the list. Um, Dennis, okay, so Dennis, I missed your questions before. Please, would I be able to use the certificate as agent without FIFA registration? Uh, so Dennis, you would be able to do that up until the new laws come in. So if you start tomorrow, yes, you will. Uh, but once this new, these new regulations come into place, um, you will need to first get that um, license, that FIFA license. Uh, but like I said, we don't know if that's going to be later this year, next year, you know, and, and it may delay. I mean, uh, there's, there's negotiations that FIFA is having with different stakeholders to make sure that this is the right way that they're going to change the regulations. Um, so you will need to have that certificate uh, from FIFA. But the other thing as well, and this is something that you should take away. Successful agents build the relationships because at the end of the day, if you have the players, that's what's important. So sometimes what happens is that, for example, in a big agency, you may have a group of different people working there and they have the relationship with players, but when the contract is signed, it is signed by the CEO of that agency who happens to be the licensed agent. Uh, but in many cases, some of these other professionals, they're working um, and they're not licensed, but they're involved because they have the relationship with players. So, um, and this is something that came up in 2015. A lot of people were concerned and they were, gonna, they were saying, well, now, you know, the agents, the license that I had is no longer going to be valid. And what's that going to mean for me? Because everybody was able to represent players since the 2015 regulations came, came into um, effect. Um, but at the end of the day, those that were having success anyway were those that had the network, that had the connections, because that's how you really build a successful practice. Uh, by, by establishing a network, by establishing trust, that's how you're going to have success as an agent. The license, of course, you'll need it if you want to work individually. Um, and that's something that, you know, it's not, it's not impossible to, to get. You just study.
money for it and you pay a, a particular fee in your, in, in your uh, association. And once you have that, like I said, that's the first step. The second step, that's where you really need to have the know-how, the contacts um, and the understanding because, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, let's face it, and I don't want to sugarcoat this, being an agent is not easy. Um, you know, there's very few Mina Raiolas and Jorge Mendes, uh, you know, the, the rest uh, work with, you know, players that are more modest, but that doesn't mean that you can't earn a good living because these modest players, you know, if you have a, a pool of, you know, uh, several players that you're representing, you can earn a, you can earn a good living and doing what you want. So, you know, you're not probably going to have the opportunity to sign a multi-million dollar contract with, uh, you know, a top elite player in, in, in your first time around. But if you start building your relationships, you know, who's to say that you're not going to be able to represent a few Premier League players or in your country, I mean, not, not just English Premier players. So maybe in, you know, Premier League players in Ghana or Premier League players in, you know, in, in South America. There is that opportunity. But again, it all comes down to those relationships and how you build them. So then it's hopefully that, um, that helps answering the question. Um, right, so let me just go through one last round here. Uh, the payment can be done by credit card, says Fernando. Yes, so if you go to our website, um, I'll, uh, I'll put the link in the chat box. So just give me one second. Um, and you'll see where you can go. So, so you have an idea as to where you need to go. So I put the link in the chat box now. And what, uh, what you would do if you wanted to register is you need to fill out the registration form on the right-hand side of the page. So you select, obviously, the program that you're interested in, in this case, the Football Player Intermediation Certificate. So you select that from the drop-down menu, fill out the registration form, and then there's a button that says Continue to Payment. So that'll redirect you to our Payment Gateway page, which is uh, operated by PayPal but you don't need to have a PayPal account. You can put your credit card or your debit card. And with that, as soon as we receive that on our end, which is automatic, we send you an email. It guarantees you a spot. And, uh, and from then on, we're in contact with you and we provide you all the details as the date approaches as to what you need to know. So Fernando, if you want more information, just get in touch with me, okay? Um, by the way, let me put my email uh, slide here again so you guys have that visible. There we go. So you can have my email there. Okay, so Fernando, thank you for that question. Um, la one last round here. Uh, Diego, I have to jump on a call. This was great. Leroy, we'll be in touch for sure. Okay, thanks, Leroy. Look forward to being uh, in touch with you. Faisal says, thank you. No, thank you, Faisal. Uh, loved your country. I was there in October. Uh, I was in Riyadh, in fact, delivering um, a workshop for the Saudi Pro League. Um, not the, yeah, the Saudi Pro League, sorry. Sometimes I get uh, confused with some of these different uh, uh, consulting uh, projects that we have. But yes, I was in Riyadh, uh, Saudi Pro League. Um, loved your country, fantastic. I was at that, um, the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. I wasn't staying there, no, don't get me wrong. But I visited that Ritz-Carlton Hotel. My God, magnificent place. Um, and the people, very hospitable, the food. Uh, oh no, I love your country, so I'm sure that uh, football is growing there and there's more opportunities. So, thank you, Faisal. Um, my question was about that point, says Giuseppe, uh, about the license. Okay, so Giuseppe, uh, yeah, that probably answers what I said before. So, uh, good. Uh, and then, Abu Bakari, will SBI be providing any assistance in acquiring the FIFA license? So, uh, Abu Bakari, yeah, well, what we'll do is we'll provide you what you need to know. So we have a team of experts that are on the ball, knowing, I mean, Enrique is one of them, Enrique Ripoy, um, you know, he's one of them that um, is up to speed as to what's happening, you know, every single day with the FIFA regulations. Um, as I said, he works for one of the top law firms. Um, so very, very much in contact with FIFA they are. Um, so all the regulations, everything that you need to know, you'll, you'll have um, at your disposal. And that means that whenever the FIFA license comes up, um, you know, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and you'll need to know exactly what to do with your FA when you want to represent a player um, and want to get that license. So we'll talk more about that, Abu Bakari, but yes, you can expect that. Okay, so Kello says the same thing. Do you assist students in effectively being licensed intermediaries? 
So what, the, the, what we will assist you with is with the knowledge, the know-how, and the regulations that you'll need to know. As far as the exam itself, we can tell you what was done in previous exams, but at the moment, we don't know what the exams are going to be like. So what we'll do is we will equip, we as, equip you as best we can, but we will equip you as best as anybody can, because nobody, if anybody tells you that they know exactly what the FIFA exam is going to have, you know, they'll probably not have the latest um, information. They'll have some previous information. So that's what we can give you. We can give you what was done before and what you can expect based on what we hear firsthand from the experts that work day in, day out with FIFA and with the, the you know, the, the decision makers and the stakeholders when it comes to the licensing. Right, okay, well, I think we've covered everything. Um, so with that, uh, one last thing. Uh, da, 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 Rodney Richards, uh, how aware are you about the salary cup coming into the EFL in the UK? Right, so, this is an interesting point, uh, Rodney, and one of the reasons why we've assembled this lineup of experts is because they work with all of these issues day in, day out. So whatever may be coming up, and you know, with COVID-19, for example, um, obviously you know about uh, the player contracts, you know, those, those finishing uh, June 30th, how's that gonna impact them? Because of course the seasons are gonna go beyond June 30th. So all of these things that are coming up now, that are beginning to emerge, um, you know, evidently, you know, you're gonna need to be aware of them. And the experts that are gonna come in to speak, these guys are working day in without, day out with players, with clubs, you know, with federations. So they'll be up to speed as to what's happening. So yes, everything that, um, that you'll need to know as far as salary caps or whatever else you may need to know regarding, you know, the new regulations, whether it's from FIFA or, you know, local FAs and leagues, um, you know, someone like Male, for example, Male, um, you know, is a, is a registered agent in the UK, so she'll be aware of all of this and uh, can answer your questions and be involved in the discussions in the lab sessions. Okay, well, like I said, um, if you want to be part of this certificate, there's still time. Uh, we start June 15. If you go to sbibarcelona.com, if you click on the enroll button that you'll see in the top right hand uh, corner, It'll take you to where you need to go. And if you have any more questions, just get in touch with me. Get in touch with our team. Um, we'll be sending out a newsletter with a recording from this session. Um, and anything that you want to you know, clarify that has not been said in this info session, just get in touch with us. Um, and we'll look forward to, to being uh, back in contact with you very soon. So uh, I won't take more of your time. We've already gone uh, over by, uh, by a little bit. Uh, it's gone over by an hour, so we are an, an hour and 17 minutes. Uh, I know you guys have busy lives. Uh, you have other things to do. So uh, with that, I will just say that whatever you need, get in touch with us. We're looking at your best interest as far as your career aspirations and, you know, whatever we can do to help you in that regard, uh, you can count on our support. And with this pro program, you can expect... Um, to acquire the knowledge, to build the network, and to have that lifelong support, career support from SBI, which is, which is worth quite a lot. In an industry such as this, where you need trust, where you need a uh, network, and where there's a lot of competition, believe me, that a community, uh, what we call that SBI family that I talked about here, um, goes a long way, goes a very long way. So, that said, uh, thanks everybody for uh, joining us tonight. Look forward to engaging with you in another session, uh, webinar session soon. And if you're interested in this course, get in touch with us. You won't regret it. You'll enjoy it and you'll get a lot of value if you want to represent football players, uh, whether you're already doing that now or in the future. So take care everybody. Have a great evening and talk to you soon. All the best. Bye for now.